there's kind of like bad PR around progesterone. Why is that? And like, do you think that hormone replacement therapy can be useful? The thing about bioidentical progesterone is that in some women, it can block ovulation. So that's where you have to be kind of careful. So what I sometimes do with patients is if they need progesterone, I'm going to try to have them make their own endogenous progesterone. And they might need metformin. You know, Chase Tree might not do it. Sometimes I'll use bioidentical progesterone after someone ovulates, but I really want to do everything I can so that your ovaries can do that for you. Do you think bioidentical progesterone is something that I could like wean myself off of? Yes. Okay. That's good to know. You know, let me first say that it makes sense that you tried it. It's over the counter. Like you can get progesterone from Whole Foods. Mm. So it makes sense to try it. What I've seen, again, anecdotally, is that it blocks ovulation and pregnancy. 